Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome reading. And Sagittarius, I hope you guys are well. And in this reading, there's change here. Because I've looked at the numerology here and we well, I keep getting this repeating theme of a five. So fives, fives, fives. After I have looked at, you know, all these numbers that, you know, uh, adding them, of course, reducing them. So we come to a, we come to many fives here as I have added these, but I end up with a four. And, uh, so it's change that is bringing stability, security, uh, like a, a more balance and a foundation for you. And in the reading, we have the archer and you might be saying that's me. And so this is uh, the number seven in the major arcana, which is not really you, Sagittarius. You're 14, you're temperance, and you are 10 as the will of fortune when we talk about the majors. But the archer is here, and as usual, he is trying to, um, he has his target, right? This is the flaming arrow of the intellect. Very interesting here. Uh, mm-hmm. And this can be seen as the chariot, the number seven uh, in the major arcana. And, you know, this is trying to uh, get ahead, right? Of course. And uh, we see that as, yeah, definitely trying to move forward. And so we see this as the spirit of the hooded man as well. The hooded man is, is, the, is the Virgo, is the hermit. But it's about spiritual growth and understanding, right? Orion intuition, inspiration, and imagination, passing on great wisdom. That is exactly what Sagittarius does at times because Sagittarius always wants to spread the truth. Uh, this is what I believe. This is true. This is, uh, these are my spiritual beliefs based on the ninth house, of course. And so when we see the archer though, we see him, uh, this is the dawn of a new adventure, but he is he is getting what he needs or he has his arrow. This is with flaming passion. That's really what that is. I have my, my target. I know what I want. And that's what's going on in this reading. The dawn of a new adventure folded in the web of universal potential waits for you to string the bow of your imagination and loosen the arrows of creativity. This is a time to be bold and commit to the hunting of new life and a better relationship with the world. And this is what happened happens when we, when we loosen, right? When we loosen the arrows of creativity, we feel, we, we feel less in survival mode. We were not in survival. We're in creative mode. And so the world feels our energy. The world feels our happiness, our joy, and our passion for a future, for a new beginning to move into your future, right? To, to live that, to leave the past behind and release it. And so passing on great wisdom, very interesting. And we also have the moon on the water. We have conditioning. Conditioning is the devil. Interesting silence. And this is the star in this other deck. And so we see the moon on the water. It's about your intuition as well. And the moon on the water talks about, uh, it can talk about new beginnings. They're very emotional or they are, uh, your, you know, your emotions are high kind of feeling a little bit unstable at the time. It talks about rebirth, the still point of potential as well, right before we jump off and take that leap of faith into our new beginning, right before a cycle will change. The path of the moon on the water, the gateway of the soul, the tides of emotion and consciousness. This is when our higher consciousness kicks in, or this is when we move into our higher self with our higher consciousness, knowing ourselves, knowing where we want to go, understanding where we've been and focusing on the here and now, the primal source of intuition and initiation. The moon on the water heralds a time of inner transformation, initi initiation or awareness. This may take the form of a seemingly random situation based in the emotional or spiritual spheres, but your inner voice may have been whispering for some time and gone unheeded. So this may be about your creative life. It could be about love. We have the 10 of vessels, happiness, right? And what I say here, creative life, Sagittarius, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're necessarily, you're a painter. 
you're uh you know a decorator a, a home like an interior decorator or something that is like an architect you know very creative it can be any creating your life everybody is a creator if they so choose and this is what we are here to do we are here to be to create we're here to create and we are here to love mm -hmm. and definitely we are here to learn about ourselves so that we may of course be the creators of our own life so we have the ten of cups it is called the ten of vessels and these are we have the waterfall here right the waterfall is always hopeful inspiring beautiful clean wondrous and so we see and the waterfall always Im impresses on us that there's somewhere to go there's somewhere kind of to dive right to dive into and so we see the beautiful waterfall here with all the cups and so the ten of cups is happiness this may be romance remember the cups in this re in this deck are called vessels which take us places vessels now this is you fill my cup so this may be you know a, a once again about your personal life or about love right it just depends because the vessels are about your intuition this is how we get where we're going right this is how we fill our cup by trusting our intuition by being aligned with our soul and this is how we move forward in our life it's difficult to move forward if you are not aligned with your own soul with your best friend your guardian this is your soul you have to think greater than your thoughts if those are negative thoughts you have to learn to think greater than those thoughts in order to move and be your own creator and so with the devil here conditioning right here it's a number 16 uh 15 rather and interesting how that is a recognition right a recognizing that whatever i was doing was the wrong thing this is conditioning here is the lion and he is really uh he's really a lamb as well so it's very interesting how somebody realizes here that they were either being a lamb or they were being a lion but there's two parts of them and so this is somebody who realizes that i was conditioned maybe as a child i was conditioned i was kind of in my lower self because i was just i wasn't me i was acting out kind of or you know operating kind of in this conditioning could be a jaded but right like a jaded mode or conditioning is when you are kind of you've been taught that energy you've been taught those patterns kind of or you had to learn them because you were on your own but conditioning is it's a little bit of a uh, of a survival tactic right but you were you learned that so you've been conditioned to do that but there is no power in conditioning right there is no soul power there's not and so this is when you are not aligned and you are just aligned with your soul and you are just doing what you have been conditioned to do and the star shows up here as silence and i find that to be very interesting and silence is where we get to know ourselves yeah it definitely is so in the reading sagittarius we have this may definitely be about love for my deck here we have they have someone they're a soulmate sacrifice reversed and they're a soulmate so you know this car in this reading when we have spaciousness here and sanctuary and let's look at sanctuary because it starts out the oracle and the oracle spread here the sanctuary a sanctuary resides inside you no matter what's happening this inner temple beckons you to enter so this is our soul and this is about being in being in silence right being being quiet and so uh interest introspection reflection and so take a deep breath enter and sit down on on the throne of your own heart which is your soul for sure it is the spaciousness card what do i no longer need help me help me to release whatever help me god right and this is really when you see this help me god this is you are you have god in you right we we all have the divine in us so this is when you are asking yourself to to be your best friend to think greater than your thoughts to release whatever whatever you no longer need people places or things that may drain you or may drain your vital essence it can be things of the past that you're just continuing 
you're in the past because your focus is there, right? You think about something that bothered you in the past, or you keep doing the same things every day, which kind of keep you in the past. And it doesn't mean that you don't have any routine in your life. It doesn't mean that at all. Uh, but we must focus on the here and now in order to create a future for ourselves and not be in the past that leave those behind think greater than your thoughts something is being cleared here and something is being released or sacrificed and we see it here and we have the butterfly with it on this card so that means for a new beginning and transformation and sacrifice is reversed if somebody had somebody in this reading uh, somebody else if there was three people here somebody is being sacrificed here like let go and they're no longer aligned with the other person. Now, for me in this reading, the 10 of cups is the idea here, or it is the, the goal. And so somebody releases something or some conditioning. It doesn't always have to be somebody, uh, right? And maybe it's a friend even, or, you know, uh, a group of people that are being released that have been holding you back. Like, you know, there, maybe there's somebody in your, in your friendship, your, you know, your social, your friends, they're all negative, right? And they've all been conditioned to think one way and they just, you know, they, they believe, uh, like negative things and, or they are just kind of in this, this lower energy where they're just going along with whatever they have seen or been told or saw on TV or whatever, right? You know, over the years, of course, I don't mean just in, you know, in a day, but there's some conditioning here that is, that somebody recognizes and they let it go. And then, and now we see somebody aligning with their true purpose, aligning with what they want and their happiness. And this may be definitely about love. We see the 10 of cups, the 10 of vessels, and something is released here. And it is because someone realizes that the other person is a soulmate. They're a soulmate. Yeah, very cool and very interesting. And so let's get into the tarot, Sagittarius, and the tarot, uh, before we begin that, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one, Sagittarius. And uh, I'm, I'm accurate. I'm a silver grad. And I can help you with your own perspective uh, about your own life. And I'm also a Canfield life coach. Yeah, so, you know, definitely helps, right? And uh, mm -hmm, life coach these days uh, is it's a spiritual, right? I'm a Canfield life coach. And Jack Canfield was a hypnotherapist. Yeah, very cool. So he is spiritual. And so getting into it, though, we do a tarot spread at the end. If you'd like, we can do an I Ching reading. It helps you figure out, helps you analyze or kind of look at, you know, helps you with your perspective or make a decision. It definitely can. That's what it's about. And so uh, those are lots of fun and personal. We do them on the phone. Uh, and also, if you would like... Uh, your chart interpreted. I am doing those. And those are the life map, uh, the roadmap to, of your life map to your true potential. Yeah. Uh, very cool. And so check out everything below in the description box, Sagittarius, and let's get down Billy Brown. We have the, the sun card. It is reversed. And so, you know, we have this with the three of cups, something is released because it wasn't bringing happiness here right? Something is released because, because there is someone is clear, very clear about what they want. They're clear because they understand their own conditioning, past conditioning. And so let's see what else we have. And the queen of pentacles is here. The past, the six of cups reversed. We have the ace of pentacles. So the past may be released. This doesn't necessarily have to do with somebody from the past, although it may, but the past is released in this particular reading. And I see it here with the conditioning, the sacrifice reversed because a sacrifice is always a release of some sort. And we see the freeing up of space here. And the Empress Sagittarius, the four of wands, the two of cups, and we see uh, that somebody feels that you are a soulmate. Possibly you are feeling that somebody else is a soulmate. And in the reading, we see the recognition and somebody very awakened to who they are and how different to who they were. Yeah, very cool. And now we have the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is in the potential outcome. If you are waiting for somebody to contact you, Sagittarius, that, uh, 
that could really come out that could really happen for you the eight of wands sits here in the potential outcome it is it can be about communication it is about change and forward it's about progress and forward movement yes it is and uh very interesting and very cool for you very positive i should say so the sun reversed starts the reading it's with the three of cups and so we see the sun reversed as it can be a release of something it definitely can it's definitely understanding or you know coming to know here i'm very clear on something that i am very clear on that i was not clear about my life that's what the sun reversed card talks about it's very interesting it's this energy where uh you know you know i now i understand uh what i didn't know about myself right what i thought i knew but i didn't know energy like that and so there may be a leo here of course with the sun reversed the three of cups is the is this is the crossing energy here so this is understanding myself and now i want to be happy the three of cups it may be about a reconciliation it definitely can be and so we have the queen of pentacles and this is what's helping you you know this is a nurturing energy it can be about somebody under understanding they're finally grounded right the queen of pentacles is a grounding she's a grounding energy right she's of the earth here's the rabbit for fertility and she's holding on to her pentacle as if though i'm you know holding on to my beliefs because the pentacles are about beliefs not only money and resources and so here she is and somebody is really understanding themselves in the reading they are and so this may be an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn that is kind of helping you possibly or within your own this may be in your own chart possibly right but in the reading uh if we i feel like there is a soulmate uh as part of definitely as a big part of this the bigger part of this reading however i believe is somebody really moving into soul growth that's what i feel that the bigger part of the biggest part and uh there there is a, a soulmate here because we see the two of cups and from my deck we see there a soulmate right here yeah and so we have the queen of swords uh showing up here and i wanted to put it here with the queen of pentacles we have two women here maybe there are two women involved possibly uh but we see this queen of swords who is questioning herself excuse me or questioning a situation and when i say questioning discerning to questioning her life is this what i want no i don't i don't necessarily i want to release something with the spaciousness card so she is here with the queen of pentacles and this may be help this could be an earth sign here possibly or an air sign gemini aquarius or libra with these two queens and they are about it could be about my my belief systems right and uh am i really going with my belief systems and i worth my beliefs of who i am and what i want for my life right and what what can help me because the queen of pentacles is about her beliefs and the queen of swords is asking the question she's asked is this is this right for me because she's about her intelligence and her wit yes she is and so let's get a card on that we have the three of cups now again so we have somebody who uh can i be happy can i be joyous that's what this is about um with possibly with with more self-esteem because the queen of pentacles is about well like is about your beliefs but it's about your self-esteem as well and here is the conditioning card this is about self-esteem knowing that i was conditioned to think a certain way or to believe a certain way i no longer am conditioned so here this is about can i can i be can i feel a joy in my life my self-esteem has grown here i'm more aligned with who i am soul growth i've done the work with the reflection card the silence card this is the star i've been i've i've reflected i've meditated i've i've sat alone with myself i've really thought 
uh, basically about my life thus far. And now I want to move forward with the archer. I want to free up this space over here for myself. And this may be that somebody is no longer you or a somebody here very close to you or somebody maybe who is physically far but close to you on a soul level could be feeling like well i wonder if i can reconcile with sagittarius that definitely could be going on the six of cups reverse sits in the past and somebody in this reading uh there's a clarity about the past here there's a major clarity about the past and most like releasing it on some way in some way of course as i've been talking about but the six of cups reverse can be somebody returning from the past if this person if this is about somebody returning from the past or you are trying to return to somebody from your past sagittarius uh there is major soul growth here for this person I, yeah, this, because this reading is, is all about that. This is what we are discussing here. And so we have the six of swords and this is about growth too. This is about recognizing that I need to move forward in my life and leave something behind in order to get to a better place for myself definitely and so the ace of pentacles is coming into play there's an offering here of something very stable for you sagittarius something uh that is it is based on uh on on the the, the pentacle remember i said it is about uh, your beliefs it can be about money and resources and things that sustain you and your beliefs will sustain you if you are aligned with them and so this is coming into play here and this is being offered to you and so this is something very stable and this is somebody that this is somebody really believes in you here or this new opportunity for you to move forward and step into this is based on self-esteem it's based on a higher alignment to your soul and if this is being offered to you it is being offered because uh, somebody really believes in you and they believe in your journey together. Let's get another card with it. We see the page of pentacles. Somebody's going to offer you this because the page of pentacles is coming as a messenger and it's another pentacle. I really believe in this. I value this. When you believe in something, that is your value, right? Yeah, if you are right, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. That is the old kind of adage that really has a major truth in it right uh we have to really understand who we are and really what we believe in uh in in order to stand in our power right of course and so the king the king of the knight of swords rather sits here and you know might be another um air air sign here gemini aquarius or libra we have the king of cups be pisces cancer scorpio but this is trusting your intuition and eliminating something here or if not so much, he looks, he's angry. He has a sword up in the air. He's on his horse. Uh, he's kind of the eliminator in, in the way I see this. This is cutting something out or moving aggressively to kind of stop something, right? Because that's where he's headed here. Even his horse, you know, is kind of stressed out here. Like, okay, I'm going, right? And the King of Cups is with it. And this is about love or trusting your intuition, and that's what's going on here. And so this is in the near future. Something's released here um, because something is released because something is new is being offered. That's what's going on. And the Empress is in the advice for you, Sagittarius. It sits with the Knight of Swords again. Wow. And so aggressive energy is being taken here. We see it twice. And right here, it is about in the advice, it is really about something is somebody is coming to i believe here really coming to make their dreams come true in love the empress to nurture this to nurture you to bring fertility to bring abundance and maybe you are doing this but this sits in the advice and this is how you are being affected in this reading all the other readings can be switched, right? This could be you or them. If this is about another person for you. Let's get another card on the advice. And we have 
the four of cups something is released here as i said he's bored he doesn't want something here he doesn't want this it doesn't bring him stability anymore because it's not aligned here are the cups it's not aligned with his soul growth or who he really who he understands he is the four of cups trusting your intuition uh about and it's a number four about your own stability and like about your own soul growth about what's good for you in your life about what makes you feel grounded and so now we have the four of cup four of wands another four here the fours are about stability as i've said and this is in your environment and this may be a marriage card a celebration we have a celebration potentially twice the three of cups twice here and uh with it is the devil okay so this is in your environment here and this is about knowing here, I need to release. The devil is about release as well. It's about, I've been stuck for too long. I've been chained. And we see this couple here and they're naked and I, you know, I can't really show them, but they are chained by the devil. And this may be about temptation, right? Temptation, but I need to go after what, what is really, what is tempting my soul, what I really want, right? It doesn't have to be because it's the devil, something, you know, awful, of course not, right? This is Saturn energy and this is, uh, you know, being responsible and, uh, you know, it is, it is going after really what I want because this is base, base Saturn is about, you know, your ambition and your authority. And so we see with this, he's, this is about a release. These people are, are being released here. Uh, they're still chained, but they are being released in the reading because we have sacrifice reverse as well. Here's the four of wands. This is in your environment. Somebody really wants to be with you here, Sagittarius. That's what this is looking like here or you really want to be with them. But the devil shows up here twice. It shows up as conditioning. So in this particular reading, uh, this is honing in on conditioning where somebody has been conditioned, right? Uh, we see it all the time conditioned, right? You, you're not, you're not really being your, your full self stepping into your true potential because you're, you're working on these old programs that have, you know, that you've been, uh, you've been kind of controlled by for a long time. Conditioning is a control. It's about control, right? Uh, when you are conditioned, you're controlled by your past. That's what this is. And so in your environment here, this, somebody knows that they have been operating kind of, uh, on old programs that have been kept, kept them, that have kept them hostage. And this is being released in this reading. And so the two of cups is the hopes and fears. You may well know who this person is, Sagittarius here. I feel like you, you do, uh, for those of you that this is all about love for sure. And this is a soulmate. This is your hoping for this. Maybe you are hoping for this to happen in general, right? Because right here is interesting. Could be somebody returning from the past, but the six of swords is transition. This is moving away. This is moving to a better place, moving into your power, recognizing that something has to be sacrificed, uh, with the six of swords. He's going somewhere. He's leaving the choppy waters, the headaches, or the lower uh, alignment, right? The lower perspective, the lower self, he's leaving that behind. And so this could be both here. This whole reading is very cool uh, because it talks about if somebody is returning, they are returning in their higher self. And if you are moving forward in your life, Sagittarius, as this reading really looks, or they are, or both, uh, there's, there's just good stuff here. Yeah. And just to put it out there, like, you know, very kind of, uh, in a simple way. And so we have the three of swords here. Yeah. And there was heartbreak in the past. And this is because somebody was conditioned and not aligned with who they truly were. And this is a very uncomfortable feeling because it's very superficial. And, you know, we are just kind of being maybe what parents wanted us to be or just how we maybe not nurtured in our lives. And so we grow up and we behave, we behave, we're not really behaving as who we really are because maybe we feel like something else was expected of us. But in this reading, there is a definite release. There is recognition and there is soul growth in the reading and the three of swords. There may have been a third party here and a conditioning can be a third party. And this is like, yeah, 
conditioning can be a third party. They bring that up when you learn, when you take psychology, conditioning is one of the major, uh, you know, it should be really kind of, because conditioning has to do with your soul and it should be, I haven't taken psychology in college for, for years and years, although I've been studying psychology, uh, with life coach and, uh, neuralistic programming and, you know, uh, yeah, things like that, and um, NLP, right, uh, neuro-linguistic programming, rather, and so we see the three of swords here, there could have been a broken heart in the past, and this can be, I hope that a third party ends, or I want it to, I want a third party to go away here, it's possible somebody's left behind here, like a third party, a third person could be left behind, right? Definitely. And with that, we have the hanged man in the upright. Something has already been sacrificed here and we see sacrifice reverse here. Something's sacrificed for sure in the potential outcome since the eight of wands. And this is progress movement can definitely be soul growth because the wands are about inspiration and passion. And, uh, we are only inspired within our soul, right? Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for more uploads. Yeah, and uh, yeah, get your psychic reading, Sagittarius, or get your, your chart read. Very, very, very cool. Thank you so much, guys.